Peasant Farmers Association is backing former President John Dramani Mahama's assertion that the country may experience food shortage next year. The former president said this will be due to the alleged mismanagement of the Planting for Food and Jobs program, whilst the Peasant Farmers Association is attributing this to challenges with assessing fertilizers primarily. Uh, the former president says this is due to mismanagement. We'll hear from the heads of program uh, and advocacy at the Peasant Farmers Association, Charles Inyaba, shortly. But first, listen to the former president, John Dramani Mahama, speak at Sunyani Bay's Moonlight FM. One of my siblings is a farmer, and he told me this year there are no fertilizers, so he had to buy his own fertilizer. And a bag of fertilizer is very expensive now. He normally cultivates 300 acres of maize, but this year he had to reduce it. He couldn't even cultivate 80 acres. Because planting for food and jobs, no, it has failed. And so probably there'll be farming next year because the planting for food and jobs has failed. The Canadian funding has been exhausted and we need to sustain the program with our own money. But there's no money at the finance ministry. And food crops is going up astronomically. For someone who said, hold on. Before this government took office, we had entered into an agreement with Canada for some investment into our agriculture. So when they inherited the funds, they christened it planting for food and jobs. It was originally a program that we were working on. Well, the Greek minister has meanwhile been responding to the former president's claim. According to Dr. Usue Fuye, the country is actually witnessing bumper harvest due to government investment in the sector and says former president Mahama is misinformed. I didn't know that in addition to the many accolades that he's collecting along the way, that scaremongering has become a tool for him in his desperate attempt to win power in 2024. The facts are very clear. Ghana, Ghana has the best food security situation in the whole of Africa. And that is well documented by the, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Bank, Agra, and every, all the international organizations. Since 2017, when we started the Planting for Food program, we're exposing huge amounts of food to our neighboring countries across the range of tubers of uh, maize, uh, rice, and other commodities. So if he says that there's going to be shortage of food in the coming year, I don't know what he's talking about. Last year, the government spent nearly one billion Ghana cities on seed and fertilizer subsidies alone, in addition to the machinery and other things that have been imported for farmers to increase their production and their productivity. That generally, we are having a situation where uh, traders are coming from Kano in northern Nigeria, from Niger, from Burkina, to come and pick the excess that the farmers in Ghana have produced. Mm. So I don't know where he's getting his information that uh, there's going to be food shop. In fact, this year we're expecting a bumper crop. It's totally unfounded. He's, he's uh, just a, a desperate man trying to scare Ghanaians. Charles Inyaba is the head of programs and advocacy at the Peasant Farmers Association. He joins us uh, via Zoom. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, do you agree with the former president? Well, we seem to have lost connection to Mr. Nyaba, who is the head of advocacy at the Peasant uh, Farmers Association. We'll be getting his view on this shortly. Uh, Mr. Nyaba, thanks for joining us again here on Joy News Prime. Uh, why do you agree with the former president that we could face shortages, food shortages, uh, in the coming years? Well, we have a challenge still with a connection to uh, Mr. Charles in Nyaba. And let's bring you some statistics, however, on uh, you know, food security here in Ghana, again, put together by the Joy Research Dex. And so let me first take you through the, uh, the keys. And so this green here indicates 
uh, minimal you know food insecurity uh, yellow there indicates uh, a stress situation if you see this orange on the map it represents a crisis situation then we have an emergency situation that's the red and then this there represents a, a famine and so when you look at the map carefully you see that Ghana has all green here and this is between the year June and uh, the year 2020 June and August right so this is the uh, situation in the Sahel and West Africa and our source is the OECD and so Ghana as of the year 2020 had no issues with or let me say minimal issues with food uh, insecurity However, when you look at the same period, June to August 2021, you're beginning to see yellowish portions here and also some orange portions here. Uh, and so it tells you that we are beginning to see some stress situations in parts of the country and in some parts that could be crisis. And so this is the situation. This is the Ghanaian map, uh, all green here a bit of yellow in there, and then you see the orange situation there. So that is what the situation is looking like uh, for Ghana as far as food security is concerned.